Now Nike, Jordan Brand, somebody out there, I know somebody is hearing my cry, bruh. Now I didn't want to do this, man. Y'all know I'm a lover, lover of Jordan 1, man. Now, do I really have to change up the background? Maybe just put a wall full of Jordan 10s back here. Maybe a wall full of Jordan 9s. I mean, what I got to do for y'all to get the message, man? Because I I just don't know anymore, man. Um, I got an early shoe, y'all. Let's talk about it. YouTube family. What's good, man? What's popping with y'all? Your boy Jay is here back, man, with a two time, a double up, a double upload today, man. I missed a day earlier in the week, so I had to get back at y'all, man. I got several shoes. When I say several, I got a lot of shoes that I haven't showed y'all. So I said, let me grab one of them, you know what I'm saying, and give y'all some content for the later evening hours of Sunday, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm here to do, man. Hey, hit that thumbs up three times. I would say hit it twice, but that means you'll unlike it, you know. But hit it three times for your boy Jay, man, for this double upload upload today if you're rocking out with your boy Jay man and if you are a first time viewer second time third time so on and so forth if you are a, a, a viewer who thinks that you are subscribed to the family double check make sure that you are still subscribed y'all because YouTube does unsubscribe people from time to time and if they do unsubscribe you please leave a comment down below and let me know you know what I'm saying let me know if they unsubscribe you I want to know you know how many people YouTube is messing with but hey if you haven't subscribed yet man this is your chance subscribe we out here making movies we doing all that good stuff man so hit that subscribe button join the family and don't stop there man if you are a newcomer as well i need for you to comment down below as well so i can leave you a personalized comment from your boy jay letting you know i appreciate you and welcoming you into the family the correct way man but today today is sunday man um a couple things happened today shout out to uh south carolina women's basketball man they uh took that dub they they tough bro they tough like um, and, um, real quick, I don't want to get on to sports and all that stuff, man, but, hey, hats off, man, I salute Caitlin Clark, uh, I, I wish her nothing but the best with her future and, and et cetera, but my, my opinion, I gotta, I gotta give y'all my thoughts on the whole Caitlin Clark situation, bro, she is a phenomenal scorer, she is a great scorer, bro, she's a bucket getter, she's a shooter, but, I think they gonna chew her up and spit her out when she get to the WNBA because she's going to reach a different level of athleticism, defense, and um, if you guys seen the game, y'all, that point guard that was uh, guarding her and defending her, she did a fantastic job, and she really locked her up, and uh, there's defenders way better than her in the WNBA, and it's like, if she can't make no moves on people like her, you know, uh... She gonna have a tough time, man. But, um, hey, like I said, man, I wish her nothing but success. Give me y'all thoughts and opinions on, you know what I'm saying, her game and just the whole, you know, women's basketball as well as men's too, man. Shout out to the men's. Like, hey, man, just, hey, I've been tuned into the basketball lately, y'all. It's, it's been vibes, you know, so appreciate just men's and women's keeping me both entertained and um yeah let me know y'all feedback on that i just wanted to throw that in there real quick some conversation with y'all outside of shoes but back to shoes just like just like that we got to snap back to shoes because that's what we here to talk about man we do got a shoe that is releasing when are these even releasing y'all i didn't do no homework okay these are releasing this month i wasn't aware of that i thought these release re releasing in like may or something um these are releasing uh april 27th according to who is this sneaker bar detroit so so Sneaker Bar Detroit says they are releasing April 27th. So if that date gets changed or anything, Sneaker Bar Detroit said it. I didn't say it. So uh, retail is 180 on these. And uh, it looks like something we've seen before, man. And like I said in the intro, y'all, it's time, y'all. It's time. Like, who do we have to talk to? Put the Jordan 1s up, man. Like, y'all are, are butchering them at this point, man. Like, these right here, y'all. Speaking of these, y'all, if you guys want these shoes, I have them. I have 8 through 13 available right now retail i'll give them to y'all retail shipped and that's with overnight shipping man so you buy tomorrow you get the next day you buy today you get tomorrow like next day shipping so that's how we rocking man follow your boy over at jtsg closet on instagram as well as follow my main page jay the sneaker guy so follow me over on instagram shoot me a dm and if you don't have social media man send your boy an email it's down below in the description had to just get that out there real quick let y'all know if y'all want these shoes 
But yeah, man, like, uh, like to see Jordan ones, man. And and while I'm talking, let me let me get this stuff out because I ain't gonna make the video too long without showing y'all the shoes. Um, it's like. <sighs> These released early, y'all. So these did a, a pre-release. I did not go after this shoe on the uh, the sneakers live. I went after the Jordan One Low Shadows, and uh, I went after the Jordan One Green Glows. I hit on both of them, got both the shoes I wanted. I did not want this shoe. Nope. I didn't want them, and uh, I ended up getting them for content sake. Hit that thumbs up because if it wasn't for y'all wanting to see the shoes early, these wouldn't be in front of the camera right now. I'm just being honest. You know, but uh, yeah, man, uh, I got the two shoes I wanted. This one I wasn't too excited for. And as you can see, it does have an all over burgundy or team red box. You know what I'm saying? With the white Nike logo on the top. Size tag on this one reads Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG color block and it's white team red. Simple. Appreciate you, Nike. Uh, simple, simple. Popping off the box lid, you will get a lot number. Regular Jordan 1 stuff. And I showed y'all a million and one of these, but regular Jordan 1 stuff on these. And like I said, y'all, retail. I got y'all for retail shipped 8 through 13 jtsg closet but i do have here does it have a white and green sticker on the inside no white and green sticker so all you get is that lot number we do got the jordan one team red set to release on april 27th retail is 180 bucks y'all now before i do my signature sound they're not bad the only thing that can tell me that this is a bad shoe is the time that we're in. That's it. But shall I? Bang! So here we go, y'all. We do got the Jordan 1 Team Red set to be releasing a little bit later this month, y'all. I want to talk to y'all about these as well as give y'all just my whole just thoughts on just the Jordan 1s in a whole, man. Like, um, now these right here aren't bad. They aren't bad at all, man, but I've seen these before. It's it's another one of those I've seen those before type shoes, y'all. Um, if you guys own Jordan One, now these are the Bordeaux Jordan One Bordeaux, which released a little while back. I mean, it looks very familiar to the Team Reds. The only difference is the shade in the red. This is more of that uh, purplish, of course, Bordeaux. That's the color. So it does have that that purplish tone to it, but. I mean, essentially, like, come on, y'all. Come on, if we got them both on feet, both with white laces in them and we're walking, I could put one on one foot, one on the other foot, and you think I'm just gonna have on one pair of shoes, y'all. It's just, it's that close. So it's another one of those, I've seen them before type shoes, that's what I mean. But, um, yeah, man, uh, here they are, man. Bang, y'all. So you have them right here, man, in the infamous Chicago color blocking, y'all. I've said it once and I'll say it again. I still think the Chicago color blocking is undefeated. Um, undefeated in, in the sense of saying you can't really mess up a Chicago color blocking. Every Chicago color blocking that, that drops pretty much is a hit. I think these are a hit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it's, it's a clean shoe. I cannot deny these, y'all. It is a clean pair of Jordan 1s. However, however, it's not, it's not, you know, it's not giving me like, I need to have these. It's giving me, bruh, I, I already had those. I've already seen those. I could have got those. It's like, it's something that we've seen before that we wasn't like pressed to go after and pay resale to get. It's just another Jordan 1. You know what I'm saying? And um, it, it, it sucks to be saying that because I hate that we're in that state of Jordan 1s to where people are just saying, it's another Jordan 1. Like, come on, man. Y'all are making mids, lows. Like, and I know that there's a mid that looks like this. I know that there's a low that looks like this. And it's like, Jordan brand. What what are we doing, man? But it's solid, bro. Take a look at them. Um, this pair that I do have right here, man. Take a look at that side panel. It got some, it got some slick, de decent leather on it, man. It got some slick, decent leather on the side. I like how it tumbles up, you know, slick. But, uh, um... That's not enough nowadays. We need more than just the leather quality, man. Like, y'all gotta, y'all gotta give us, I wanna say the thing that probably will change up the game with Jordan 1s, number one, you gotta give us, give us four a year. Four Jordan 1s a year. Let's start with OGs. Let's do one OG, right? One OG, three new colorways. Four for the whole year, one per quarter. So that is what, March, April, May, June, every three months. Y'all get it. September, December. So 
We get one every three months. I think that we'll value and we'll appreciate the Jordan 1 much better. Those mids, have fun with the mids. Have fun with the lows. Throw those out rapidly however you want to, but we gotta, man. We gotta, come on, bro. We gotta put some respect on the high OGs, man. We got to. Jordan Brand, like I said, man, do I gotta, do I gotta go there? Do I gotta just scrap my whole wall, bro? I know somebody out there hear me. You know what I'm saying? Like, do I gotta just put some tens back there? Some nines back there? Some seventeens? We come on, bro. Come on, man. Go in the vault and give us what we want, y'all, man. Some more eights, a couple more eights, because we know how y'all do. We know how y'all do. But yeah, man, they do come with an extra set of the team red laces. They come with the team red laces. Um, like I said, I think they're gonna look just like those Bordeaux that I just showed y'all, but they not a half bad shoe, man. Y'all comment down below your thoughts on the team red Jordan ones. Like I said, man, if you if you feeling them and you want them now, you know where I'm at. Y'all hit me up on the gram or my email. Um, and uh, yeah, I got y'all on these, but I don't think that they're a bad shoe. I just think that. It's the time that we're in. It's too many Jordan 1s out there. People have lost the taste for Jordan 1s. But let's be real, man. Jordan 1s are that ultimate versatile shoe. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. So many different things you can do with them. But I'm sure a lot of people have things that look similar to this in their collection, man. Hence to why I don't know if I'll be keeping these, man. I'm going to do it on feet and uh, do my YouTube thing with them. But as far as me keeping them, y'all, it's like... And I, I even thought about getting rid of my Bordeaux, y'all. And like, it's like they just so close. And it's like I don't, I don't need it. I don't need it, y'all. You know. But uh, I need to know y'all feedback. And another thing, y'all, leading up to its release. Of course, we know they these release April 27th. I told y'all earlier. Shout out to Sneaker Bar Detroit. But um, April 27th, the release date. The prices on them, y'all. The prices on them. I know I told y'all I can get them for y'all for retail. But in all just fairness, you can get them below retail. But you're gonna have to wait a couple weeks. You're not gonna get them next day like how your boy Jay would get them to you. But going on StockX, going on gold these are going for below retail way below retail man and it's like it's 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 a good thing it's a good thing for those who really like a certain and in particular shoe you can get them for below retail man you know but just just a lover of jordan ones like myself man just to see just man just the whole jordan one silhouette be just battered into the ground the way that they are man and it's like you just you're just throwing colors on them now you know and and not to say that this is a bad shoe it's not a bad shoe but it's like bro just chill bro we just need four a year bro give us we getting the black toes right we getting the black toe reimagined that's it bro that's it that's all we needed this year give us three outside of that this could be one of them, which I wouldn't use this as one of them. I would go crazy. If I'm giving y'all four Jordans a year, those three colorways outside of that OG are going to be bangers. I would do, maybe, I'm not going to hold y'all, we're in a season where the yellow ochre is, is a popular colorway. And uh, I, I almost want to say I would do a yellow Chicago color blocking, but we do have something similar. The yellow ochres, however, those are like that deep, deep yellow. I would use more of like a brighter, like a... Uh, not for resale yellow. I would use that type of sun yellow and do the Chicago color blocking. I think that that would do, you know, okay. But I would just do something outside of just the the regular, man. And something that we haven't seen before. But y'all comment down below the state of Jordan 1s. What do you think they need to do as far as with uh, the Jordan 1s? I'm sure the reason why they're dying the way they are is because the mids, the lows, the just everything, like... This is the only silhouette that we get as many as we get when it comes to, of course, other models. When I say other models, the mids, the lows. We don't see Jordan 2s getting mids every week. We don't see Jordan 3s getting mids every week, getting lows every week. So this is the only silhouette that is getting beat into the ground the way it is. And I, I feel like that's a big reason as to why the Jordan 1 is so watered down, man. But y'all comment down below. Let me know your thoughts on it, man. And hit that thumbs up, man. Your boy Jay wanted to come and just conversate with y'all. Show y'all a first look at the Team Red Jordan 1s, man. Not much to talk about because, like I said, it is just a Chicago color blocking all over, of course, Team Red with the white hits on it. Decent level, you know, and uh, April 27th is the release date. $180 is the uh, retail on them, and these will sit. These will sit, man. It's no doubt in my mind. But um, 
Y'all let me know your thoughts on them, and I will get back with y'all tomorrow. Uh, we're going to talk about what's happening this week, and then we're going to get back to some on-feet. Speaking of on-feet, y'all, check out my video that I dropped earlier today of the Jordan 4 Sofers. Um, fire shoe, in my opinion, man, and they are available. If you can fit them, if you can fit up to a 10 and a half in men's, I think it's a great pickup. And you possibly even want to wait on those because those potentially may go on sale, man. So, yeah, with all that being said, I'm going to get up with y'all. Y'all stay blessed. We out. We really out for today. You know what I'm saying? I'll see y'all tomorrow. Gone. Peace.